Hi, my name is Johan Falk. This is in Stockholm, Sweden. Still a nice day. It's the evening now, not in the morning when I recorded the previous screencast. Uh, this is, I think, the first of five screencasts where I talk about blocks and layouts and user interface and workflow for working with blocks and layouts for Drupal 8. Wow. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about terminology. In particular, I'm going to talk about two uh, terms. Uh, one is the block term and one is the context term. Uh, and both of these I uh, split up into two different parts and, and talk about them separately. Um, I'm going to start with the context because the block stuff you prob you might already know that's already uh, been has been established on some kind of definitions page for blocks and layouts. So I'm going to start with context. And it turns out that uh, you use context in two different ways. Here is some kind of, let's zoom in a bit, uh, uh, a block that you're adding in, inside a page, kind of, I'll get to that. And you have here a, a context that is required as configuration by this block. Into this configuration you plug one of the contexts that you have available in this huge block that, that you're setting, the customized block. And to keep these separate, I am going to call the uh, these settings, dynamic settings, they accept dynamic input or something, so they become dynamic. And the uh, input, well, the, the data you can plug into this, I call uh, source data or data sources. I think data sources. Uh, so you have source data in your customized block that you plug into the dynamic configuration, the dynamic settings uh, of the components that you have. These are actually one and the same, and, and it's like uh, one is the flip side of the other. But it makes sense to have two different words for them when you work in, in, uh, in blocks and layouts. So, uh, dynamic settings accept data sources to become dynamic. That's the uh, context thing. Next thing is blocks, because we have here... Uh, a big block that you're working with, a customized, well, customizable block that you add content to, and the content is also blocks, and that makes it kind of difficult to understand what you're doing uh, when you're working with this. So the big thing here, the uh, customized block, the customizable block you're working with, is called a uh, populated layout. It has a layout that is being populated, and that that's the term that has been established. That sometimes, so I'm sticking to populated layout. Into the populated layout you put components, which are also blocks, uh, but called components to keep them separate from, from other blocks, from the, the block you're building. All right, that's it. Uh, you have contexts that are um, split into um, dynamic settings and the data sources you plug into the dynamic settings. And you have uh, components. Uh, components that are being used to build up the uh, populated layout. And that's it. See you in the next screencast. That's where the fun starts. See you there. Bye.